Athletes are always looking for new ways to get ahead of the competition, which is why Lewis Hamilton and Serena Williams have adopted vegan diets to support their training, which challenges the popular belief that athletes need meat to be strong. Even boxer David Hay follows a strict vegan diet while training. But why is this? What is prompting athletes to make this change, amongst speculation that the vegan diet is too low in protein to be effective? Tom Fawkes is a student who plays American football for both his university and for Sheffield team, the Sheffield Vipers. Uh, I've been vegan for the best part of three years now. Um, American football demands, in terms of fitness, you know, strength, power, speed, it's a very high intensity sport. So um, building muscle mass and also building your speed, your power, strength is key requirements to partake in it successfully in any position that you play. Thank you for good stuff. To build strength and muscle mass, your diet should be high in both carbohydrates and especially protein, which some say is lacking from a vegan diet. Uh, my typical meal uh, that I would eat is pretty basic. An example would be stir fry. So lots of whole grain rice, a bag of mixed stir fry vegetables, well, lots of range of vegetables, and then a pack of tofu, which is my main protein source in that kind of meal. Since going vegan, I've been exposed to a greater variety of foods that provide me with a greater depth of nutrition and protein sources aren't as hard to find as people think. Um, you know, that's a lot, what a lot of people say, like, oh, where do you get your protein from? But there's ton, tons of sources that are easily accessible. I think a plant-based diet has got its advantages and it's also got its disadvantages. Um, I think if you have a look at, you know, most people that follow um, a vegan diet, you tend to increase, um, you know, the amounts of fruits and vegetables and beans and pulses that you eat. So therefore, you are getting a rainbow colour of your fruits and veg and so on. So you do have a much higher intake of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, um, which is a good thing. Uh, but the, the bad thing is that the vegan diet uh, is much lower in, in protein. And as we know, protein is essential for an athlete's diet because when the muscles are fatigued after training, it's protein that repairs and strengthens the muscle. Brett is an MMA fighter who believes the benefits of veganism outweigh its limited protein sources. I've been following a vegan diet now for 10 months fully. Since following a completely vegan diet, I've seen a massive improvement in my recovery. I used to train and I used to think I was doing everything right, taking my protein straight after, eating everything like I thought I was supposed to, but I was, I was always waking up super sore, super tired, I'd get training, I was all, sometimes I was quite flat. And I think it's because my body was just like processing a lot, of, a lot of dairy. Like since I took dairy out of my diet, I noticed my skin became better, I started sleeping better, I could breathe easier. And my body wasn't trying to like, because I was drinking whey protein, and then you drink, you're eating like, yogurts and things like that it's really heavy on your system and when i get in training i feel so light and i can sort of bounce around and i'm just ready to go straight away we brazilian jiu-jitsu is quite demanding um obviously with my training i'm constantly training with male training partners they were a lot stronger than me they're a lot bigger than me when I first started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I did a competition back in 2016 and I actually had an asthma attack on the mats. At the time, I was like, I was eating a lot more dairy, so I was thinking, oh, I've got to have more protein, so I was eating more meat and like whey protein shakes, stuff like this, and I did notice my asthma like getting a lot worse. And then since adapting a plant based diet, I've been able to stop using my inhalers during training. My asthma feels a lot better, I'm able to go running, I wasn't able to do this before. When I've spoke out to people about a vegan diet before, they've said, oh, I can't do that because I'll lose muscle mass, there's not enough protein. If I can do it as a nine-stone female and be able to grapple and wrestle with men that are a lot bigger than me and be able to do that, I don't see why anyone else wouldn't be able to do that in their sport. The most important part is always recovery. So it's, it's making sure you get that like protein, the good fats and the amino acids. But you can do this on a plant-based diet anyway. You've got so many different protein sources nowadays. You've got all your beans, so you've got 
kidney beans, your chickpeas, your black beans, you've got tofu, you've got tempeh, you've got you've got everything, you've just got to make sure it's balanced. So you've got your carbohydrates to power your training sessions and recover from them. You've got your fats to support your immune system and also you've got your proteins to help rebuild your muscle. And you have different types of protein. So you have complete proteins, which are your eggs, your fish, your meat products, and they contain all the amino acids that your body needs, the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. A plant-based diet doesn't, so certain foods only have certain amino acids, and you have to then combine the different beans and pulses and grains to get the full quota of amino acids. You have to be a lot cleverer in how you might um, you know, combine your different foods together to get those amino acids. So, and unless you, you knew that, then you might be missing out on some essential non-amino acids. And the reason why they're essential is means that your body can't manufacture them, you need them from food. So providing it's tailored right, the vegan diet can effectively support an athlete, even offering some unique benefits. Anthony Mullally plays rugby for the Leeds Rhinos and thinks there is another reason that people should make the change. Originally, originally weaned off meat, so I watched a video from uh, Gary Rofsky. Um, you probably be familiar with him, a vegan activist. He worked for PETA, now he's on his own. Um, so basically my sister and her fiance are vegan and he kind of just always ticked away at me trying to, trying to tell me to not eat meat, obviously. I, I just didn't listen to him, but one day I, went, I watched a video from him and it kind of clicked. And from then, um, from then I started to wean off. Originally it was for my health, uh, health reasons. So I, I looked at like, anatomically how the, a lot of, um, a lot of research suggests that we're not supposed to eat meat. And then the more I went into it, obviously I, I turned vegan for, um, for cruelty reasons and like environmental reasons. So that's why uh, I turned vegan. Anyone thinking of going vegan in sport or in general, it's gonna have um, positive effects. My biggest things are um, research. You need to do your own research into it. And then you need to know what you need to replace. You can't just turn vegan and cut things out. You need, to, you need to replace it with something you can have, so um, preparation and uh, research and like say your reason why things are the main things to, 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 if you're going to turn vegan. So, regardless of what sport you play, providing you understand its nutritional requirements and tailor your meals accordingly, there is no reason you cannot excel on a vegan diet.